Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays Hearthstone and gets into a Tavern Brawl. Hi everyone, Tox here, ready for Tavern Brawl number 185. As I mentioned, uh, last video, I think even the video before that, I was going to be a little late this week. Um, but as I think I predicted, uh, we have Gift Exchange, which is something we've had um, most years around Christmas time. Uh, I think one year is booted down to like February instead or something, but um, usually you earn a card back, I believe, but if you already have the card back, you get a pack. So I'll be getting the pack today. Um, I think one of the best classes, it's been a while since we've done this, but I believe one of the best classes is Warlock. Um, a number of good ways of <clears throat> dealing with the packages that come down is swapping the attack and health of minions since they have zero attack they will die as soon as they swap um, and so that's an easy way to kill these things um, additionally buffing and destroying minions is great so let's look at destroy um, Destroy a friendly minion, give your minions plus one plus one, sure. Destroy a friendly minion, game plus two plus two, sure. Um, void terror is fine. Destroy a friendly minion to adapt twice. Uh, this isn't that great, but it's not bad. Destroy a friendly minion, destroy it, and a rent, uh, random enemy minion. Demon Bolt's actually probably pretty useful. I think we'll have, well, I guess I'm constantly destroying the presence. My board won't be that big, but, um, okay. Uh, Doomsayer's useful. Scorpio Medic's useful. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't think Voodoo Doll's worth it. Hmm. Don't think that's really worth it. Destroy random any minion with two or less attack. Destroy all of the minions with two or less attack. Okay, and then I also have things like um come on. Like power overwhelming. This is also they have the pack. Uh, the gifts, the presents also have four health. So so far is probably not the worst. But let me take a look at some other things. I only have two more slots, so let's just put in some decent cards. Or uh, okay, let's put in something heavier for the late game. Hmm. How many demons do I have? Not a whole lot. So I don't think Blood Reaver cooldowns that useful. I could just throw in some Void Lords. I think buffs. If there are other buffs I can use, actually, that's probably a good thing to do. Let's just add in more buffs so I can use my um, presence to attack with and destroy them that way. Uh, abuse of sergeants probably fine. That's only temporary attack though. Giving a permanent attack is probably a better. Um, you know what? Ooh. Well, no. I was gonna say, um, defender. Shoot. Is he a three drop or four drop? I've forgotten. Must be a three drop. Is it called Defender of Argus, or am I making it up? I should probably just look up Defender. It is Defender of Argus. Uh, I don't really want to give my minions taunt, because then my opponent is forced to kill them, which they'll probably do anyway, but um, I'd rather give other things taunt so that I can 
make my package to protect my packages. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just look up plus one and see what shows up. Jeez, okay. No. A friendly mech? No. Da, da, da. Have a random friendly minion plus one plus one? Nah. Have a friendly minion plus one plus one. Fallen Sun Claire. It's a two drop. Actually, Direwolf Alpha's. That's just Direwolf Alpha. Okay. Took way too long on those last two cards there. Gift exchange, let's go. So, I hope you guys had happy holidays. Um, flew out to New York, visit some family. It was a lot of fun. No major plans for New Year's. Have a couple people we're meeting up with, but nothing actually set. No plan set. But uh, looking forward to that too. Gul'dan versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Don't Your want those mossy horrors yet. Scorpomatic's good. Ooh, this is a really nice start, actually. Okay, if he can't kill that this turn, I can kill it right away, which is nice. Okay, interesting. Now... She doesn't have a way to kill this. Hmm. You know, I kind of want to destroy that. So I get another one next turn. So he doesn't have a whole lot to destroy with yet. Hmm. And then I'll have a pretty buff guy. Which is nice too, so good tempo. Okay, so, this is Discover Random Treasure, its cost is reduced. Usually the treasure is a card from the opposite class that costs five or more, but uh, its cost is reduced by five. There's also, like, Hard Pack Snowball or something that returns three of your opponent's minions back to their hand, which is pretty powerful. So, um, typically you want to pick that. Oh, okay. So I use that now. Um, so I can use the Scorpomatic to kill that one. He does have three attack for this. I could instead Doomsayer. I think I'm just gonna Scorpomatic. Oh, Scorpomatic, mine or his? I think I'm gonna do mine. And maybe use a coin now. Just find something here. Ooh. This is nice. Actually, that's nice too. But a 6-6 six, six is much better tempo. And yeah, as long as I'm denying him. The ability to break open his presence, any presence, then I'm gonna have a huge advantage. Actually, I've got a nice board clear right here. And I'll break this. And play this to clear everything, including his gift. And then I can even clear my own gift. So far he's got no presence, and I've got I've got all the presents, so um, that really Stops him from getting huge advantages. I should start using my prisons actually to uh, start getting some crazy tempo. But now he has to catch up, and I can easily keep breaking prisons now that I'm ahead. To my side. As long as I'm destroying my own prisons, he has no prisons that he can easily destroy. Um, because it's generally easier to kill your opponent's prisons than your own. Or Wintervale gifts, sorry. Okay, 
so. I can put this here to trade this off. Even though it's not a great trade. Or I can just destroy it itself. Let's do that. Okay, let's open some of these. That's nice. Hard pack snowballs. Okay. Well I'll do one more of this. This could be useful later. Actually, Siphon Soul is also useful. Um, let's hit Lord, Lord Godfrey. Actually, I could play it right now. No, that would destroy the entire board. I don't want to do that. Um, go here. Trade this, trade that. I forgot that this costs zero. This is really kind of OP. Okay, he's maybe going to finally get a present if he decides to trade into the Abyssal Enforcer. You know, I should probably be paying attention to how much damage he's doing to me. Okay, so let's do this here. Can trade. Can destroy a random friendly minion. Not really what I was hoping for, but that's fine. And. I'll just go face. At this point, I've got enough gifts. I'm denying him enough gifts that I'm not too worried about uh, getting every gift that drops. I should just be going face now. I should be taking advantage of this tempo that I got. Oh. Okay, he's going to go for a gift. Actually, he can clear this if he rams his face into it. She's not doing, okay. He is doing. Okay. What fun we're having. Okay. Let's see what else I can get. No. No, I don't really want that either. Two mana, seven, seven, I guess is fine. And I'll only take one health from using this. Call the wild for four will be good next turn. Alcanis is very nice. I thought it was only your opponent. Oh, right. So if you break one of these gifts, um, it's from the opponent's deck, I think. And if it's one of their gifts, it's your deck. So you can get your own class cards. That's really nice, too. Although, I think I'll just play this right now. I'll just play that. Why not? Okay. Pretty sure I've given myself enough space there. Unless he gets the uh, snowballs too. I wonder if it. I just realized I haven't been seeing any snowballs after that first one. I wonder if it prevents you from getting multiple um, hard pack snowballs. Like if it, it looks to see if you already have one in your hand, and if you do, it won't put it in as an option. Okay, that's. Great. Uh, I have called the wild here, so I should be okay for lethal. Mushroom power. He could go for the gift. 
We can't go for face. This is brush, not charge. We're gonna break open that gift, okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I have lethal with, uh, Malganus, too. I have to get back to Mrs. Winter. Yeah, I want to use Call of Wild. Okay. I probably could have ended that earlier. I was pretty focused on getting the gifts, but it is pretty easy to turn the game around once you have gifts, so denying your opponent gifts is, is kind of important. I just might have been focused a little too much on that. So anyway, that's Gift Exchange. We've seen it a couple times now for a few years. Um, it's fun. But it definitely, <laughs> I wasn't intending a pun, but it definitely snowballs, uh, like one, one person snowballs over the, over the other. Um, whoever starts getting the gifts earliest tends to keep that advantage, and uh, yeah. So I would try to focus your deck on ways to kill your opponents or your gifts. Because um, even if those the value of those cards isn't good, you're going to get value from the gifts themselves. So, and just getting ahead of your opponent early is important to stay ahead. All right, this is what I think tomorrow is the last day of this brawl. So, hopefully, um, you find this video useful uh, and or entertaining. But if you needed help for this brawl. Hopefully you were able to check out some of my last last year's videos, previous year's videos. Okay, uh, again, hope you guys found this video useful, fun, entertaining. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. Talks out. Hi guys, thanks for watching this week's Tavern Brawl. If you want to go to my Tavern Brawl playlist, you can do so up above. If you want to see the previous brawl, you can do so on the left. And if you want to see the last time I played this specific brawl, you can do that on the right. I'd love it if you subscribed, and as always, feel free to like, dislike, and or comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for watching. Talks out.